Jesus warns, you are standing on the brink of war. Are you ready to meet me? May 26, 2016 Words from Jesus through Sister Claire Spoken by Jackie Claire began, Dear heart dwellers, please pray that ears would be open to this message and souls would respond to the Lord's appeal while there is yet time. After worship and before I could even ask the Lord what was on his heart and mind tonight, he began. War is surely coming to this land, if not tomorrow, another day in the not so distant future. Bear with me, as I must be vague. Things are not decided. I know many of you have been waiting on bated breath for news. I know others of you have grown weary and deaf, not expecting anything soon. And I must repeat to you, your minutes are being measured out to you. Minute by minute, the decision to hold off is being made. But one of these minutes will be fateful, and the annihilation of millions will take place. Are you ready to meet me, my people and my brides? Are you truly ready to stand before me? Many of you have been prepared for months and even years. Others have put off their conversions, some have backslidden and taken up arms against my body, cutting the nets open and letting the catch go back to an uncertain fate in the wild and hostile currents of this ocean of humanity. Some came close to me, but were pushed away by the behavior of so-called Christians. They see less backbiting and bitterness in the New Age movement than amongst Christians, and they want nothing to do with them. Others have fallen away because of pressure from their families, yet I hold out hope that their commitment to me will stand in that moment when they are ushered into eternity. But each of you are responsible for your own salvation, at the very least. I will not speak of those who declaim against my body, but they will have a heavy price to pay. For now I'm addressing those who have ears to hear and eyes to see. Are you ready to meet me? Much of the reason the Father has held back his wrath is because you are not ready. I'm sending out a warning call. You are very close to oblivion, meaning you are very close to being removed from this world in a violent and sudden war, and you will be left in darkness until the judgment. I thought to myself, wow, that's a thousand years from now. That's correct. For over a thousand years they will sleep in the dust of the earth, while those who were prepared will be with me in heaven. During that time, those who are called to the judgment will have been separated from loved ones, children, parents, and other beloved souls who gave their lives to me. They will be in heaven, and you will be waiting in the dust of the earth and the depth of the sea. Are you ready to meet me? Are you ready to give an accounting for your soul, your life, what you did and didn't do? I'm warning you, dear souls, as much as I love you, I cannot make you love and serve. I cannot make you do anything. I cannot fill in the blanks where your performance as a so-called Christian did nothing to reflect me living in you. You may well hear the most dreaded words at the end of your long wait. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity, you lawless ones, for I never knew you. 
Then you shall go with the devils into the lake of fire. I asked the Lord what he meant by lawless. The heart of the law is love. Those who didn't love are lawless. Faith without works is dead. I'm still waiting to see your faith in action. Waiting to see you feed and clothe the poor. Visit the sick and those in prison. I'm still waiting to see authentic conversion and love flowing from your lives. And yet there may be a spark of hope left for you if you recognize your sins of selfishness and repent, crying out for mercy. But if you are taken before you can repent, then what? I ask you now to prepare yourselves to meet me and understand preparations for war are already completed. It is merely the consent of the Father that is holding this wrath back. Do you understand? I want to forgive you. I want your blind eyes opened. I want your repentance. I truly wait day after day for you to recognize you've gone down the wrong path. You have not chosen me, but your flesh and the pleasures of this world. You have been embroiled in disputes, accusation, calumny, bitterness and backbiting, stealing, killing and destroying the good names of others, and slandering the gospel I died on the cross to set you free with. I can forgive you if you repent. I've paid the price, but you must do your part. It will come upon you suddenly, and there will be no remedy, no time to repent, no time to even call out to me. For you it will be over, and your destiny will be sealed. There will be no excuses at that time, for I've given you warning after warning after warning in an attempt to turn you at the very last minute. There will be no excuses. You were warned. You were taught and still you choose to go with the devil. So I'm appealing to you. You are on the brink of war again, and there is no guarantee it will be averted this time. Choose who you are going to align yourself with, for many in that moment will not be able to change their minds. I'm making things clear to you today. I'm staying with you, ready to hear you repent and come to me. My arms are open to you, even in this moment. I wish to forgive you and welcome you into my house, but you must make that decision from the heart, and into my heart I will invite you. Though your sins be red as scarlet, I will wash them away white as snow. I'm standing beside you now, waiting for you to come to me. The grace is here for your repentance. Please don't turn me away this time. It could very well be your last chance. <laughs>